In general, the installation process for Beat Edit for Premiere Pro is really easy. The package includes the ZXP installer that I can start by double clicking it. And then all I need to do is to choose the correct ZXP file for the version of Premiere Pro that I have. This one for CC 2014 or the early release of 2015 and this one for the late release of CC 2015, the, the autumn release. So I just take it and just drag it on my installer and now it is installed. But now let's take a look at the process in a little bit more detail. Here I have my product download and I first extract the zip file by either double clicking it or choosing right click open. Now inside this folder you can see that we have the ZXP installer and how to install files that also explains the installation and ZXP files for different versions of the plugin. I first launch the ZXP installer by double clicking it. Now inside this dialog you can see all the plugins that you have installed for your Creative Cloud. And among those you see here I already have a version of Beat Edit for uh, Premiere Pro installed, so before installing this new version, I click on Remove. This is also how you can later uninstall your tool at any time. Now, to install the new version, we need to drag the corresponding ZXP file onto the application, but we need to figure out which one is the correct one for you. So in order to do this, you can start Premiere Pro and in Premiere Pro in the About box here or in the Windows version here in the Help menu, you can see the exact version that is in my case 2015.1 or the exact version number is 99.1.0. And uh, so the 2015.1 release means that this one CC 2015.1 is the right ZXP for you. Again, if you're on the early release of 2015, uh, you need to choose this one and also for 2014. Okay, but before we install it, we actually need to close Premiere Pro. So we go to Premiere Pro and say quit. And now we can take our ZXP file and drag it here. Now it is installed and when we launch Premiere Pro again, you can see that you find it under Window Extensions Beat Edit. If you are working with several versions of Premiere Pro simultaneously, you can also install several versions of the plugin in parallel. So if you also work with CC14 or the early 15 release, you can just take this also here and now you can see that we have both versions installed in parallel. Yeah, that's it for the installation process and have fun playing around with BeatEdit.